In the fourth video of our Altium Concord Pro review, I'm going to show you perhaps the most interesting part of the system, the component creation process. I'm going to start from the same panel where the previous video ended. Using the components panel to find components in my libraries, here I'm trying to find a component with TC124 value. You can see that no such component is found. So now I have two options. I can define that component from scratch or go to the part search panel. I'm choosing the latter. This panel offers me a search in both local libraries and using the information coming from global component manufacturers. Now I'm going to refine my search a bit. I'm going to look only for resistor arrays. Now I enter the same search criteria again, and the very first result is pretty much what I expected. In the search results, we see some of the components have this symbol next to them, indicating that a component already has a defined symbol and footprint. By selecting Acquire, I can get all of the information into Concord Pro. The next step asks me to pick a category where a component will appear. In this case, I'm choosing the Resistors category. Now the software is opening a component editor and checking to see if I'd like to use all the existing data. So I'll click Use All Data and close the Manufacturer Part Search panel. Now I can see a component editor that is designed for use with Concord Pro, and I can simply register that component in my library. Now I'll demonstrate a different way to create a component. Here I'll copy the name of a component and close the document without saving. Next, I'll use File, New, Component, and again choose a category for the component. Here we have a default resistor. Altium Concord Pro has predefined templates for all common component types. As soon as I enter a component name, I'm given the option to fetch the known data. By clicking Use All Data, I get all the information loaded. I can then modify this symbol or use another footprint or 3D model if needed. I can also modify the parametric data. One example would be adding another parameter. Once the component is ready, I can use File, Release to Server. Here I'm presented with the option that allows me to provide a comment. In this case, I'll just click OK. Now that the component has been registered, I can start using it. I open the Components panel, do a new search, and can now see that it's being found. Using Place, I can add it to my schematic. Now I'll try to create another component. I'll start with File, New, Component, and I'm going to use an IC so I'll pick Integrated Circuit. I've copied a name into my clipboard beforehand, so as soon as I enter it I'll get all of the information. Now I can use File, Release to Server. The Messages panel is empty, meaning there are no issues with this component. Again, I can enter some comments here if needed, but for this example I won't. I'm ready to place this component on my schematic now. To find it, I'll start by opening the Components panel. Then I'll select Integrated Circuits and choose the most recent component. By adding a release date column, I can sort and select the one that's just been released and use place to add it to my schematic. Now you can see that this component is obsolete, meaning it has been discontinued or is out of stock. The reason I placed it will be covered in the next video, where we will see how Altium Designer and Concord Pro can work together to find problems. For now, I'll simply save this design.